crimes and a homicide within the last few weeks, a church in Gastonia is shutting down its homeless encampment. A faith, hope and love ministries has battled the city for years over its approach to addressing homelessness in the city. Our Lowell Rose was there this morning as dozens walked away from the only home they knew. Well, I can tell you today has been tough for roughly 60 people who called this church home. They were living in tents along the back parking lot, but were forced to pick up their things and go today. After years of being a haven for those experiencing homelessness, Faith, Hope and Love Ministry shut down its homeless encampment Monday. It's sad. It's sad. It's just like taking candy from a baby, you know what I'm saying? Like It's really stressful. I mean, it, it's horrible for the people that want it, that need help. The church cites finances and ongoing legal issues with the city over code and zoning for the encampment. They fined us and they, they, we up to over $250,000 in fines already from the city. And so we're getting penalized for helping people. The church said it was tough, a decision made by the board a month ago. It's now hoping a judge will wipe out the fines for the code and ordinance violations. It's hard. I mean, it's, it's just like, I don't know what to do right now. I have no idea what to do. Just to get up and get out. About a dozen agencies ranging from the city, county, and nonprofits were on site Monday morning, offering resources for people leaving the encampment. We don't have enough beds in Gastonia for 50 to 60 people. Uh, we've been uh, scrambling to find some beds from different nonprofit agencies, um, but we've been coordinating efforts with those nonprofit groups to make sure that the people that that won't help, that need help, can get the help. As the church waits for the legal outcome, they're asking the greater community to help with the homeless problem in Gastonia. This is what we are commissioned to do as pastors. And I wanna, I wanna commission other pastors. There are over 600 churches here in Gastonia. I need y'all to come and help us to fight this fight. Stand with us. Now, while the homeless encampment here, the church has been cleared out. The pastor tells me that it will still offer daily meals for people, church services, and mental health resources for people in need. Reporting in Gastonia, Lowell Rose, WBTV, on your side.